We were changing the offense, they're like, yeah, we've heard that before. And then they kept saying, you know, we have a pretty good quarterback. And they said, yeah, we've heard that before. You don't think about it. You just continue to work really, really hard and continue to do what got you here. Now that I'm the number one pick, it doesn't mean anything four months. So I'm going to continue to work really, really hard to be the best player that I can be for this team, for this franchise, for this city. How Joe Burrow became the number one rookie in the NFL. If you want to be number one at what you do, you need to keep in mind that you got to need a lot of mentoring. You cannot be great without being with someone who already is great, which is where mentors come to play. You don't have to have all the resources to be the number one. If you have passion, you will achieve anything and everything in no time. But always remember that no matter how big of a person you become, you should not be away from your roots and who you truly are. Things don't need to turn out the way you want them to. So be patient and deal with them, because if you would not, no one will. It might be harder to actually do stuff when you have this notion in mind that you cannot really do it. It is the lack of self-belief, and most people don't become the number one only because of this lack of self-belief. Some opportunities will come across you only once in a lifetime, and you have to embrace those opportunities without being afraid that you are too young or too weak to achieve something like this. People are not always going to believe you, and some might even make fun of you. But you should understand that those are not the people who will be there when you need them. Only you will be there for yourself. So make a decision that makes you happy because you matter. Time will not just make you strong, but better too at what you do. So give things some time and hang in there. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit the like icon for the latest updates. I tried to leave a legacy of hard work and, and preparation and loyalty and dedication everywhere I go. I'm surrounded by such great people that make that so easy. Great strength coaches from Ohio State and Coach Moffitt is, is watching from home and they've made me a great person and, and a great player and, and so much better because of them. Three of the best players in the league. We expected that they were going to get some pressure, so they did a good job. I watched the football life of Kurt Warner. You know, last week when we had a little break, they lost one, and later in, within the documentary, they said they let it sting too much they did, that they didn't celebrate what they accomplished. Coming from Southeast Ohio, it's it's a very impoverished area, and the poverty rate is almost two times the national average. And there's so many people there that, that don't have a lot. And I'm up here for all those kids in Athens and in Athens County that you know go home to not a lot of food on the table, hungry after school. And you guys can be up here too. You know, we're gonna obviously it stings, but you know we had a great year. Didn't come out this last game the way we wanted to, but you know, we still have something to celebrate. When we hit that first play, I thought we were going to go down and at least get a field goal to tie the game and send it into overtime. But again, you got to give credit to them. They had they played their tails off for those four plays and, and stopped us on third and one and, and fourth and one. So you know, credit to them. Just a kid from Ohio coming down chasing a dream, and the entire state has welcomed me and my family with open arms and, and invited us in to, to be native Louisianans. I've learned to love crawfish and gumbo during crawfish season. We Coach O makes sure we got we have pounds. You have no idea what you mean to my family. Forever grateful for you. He just means so much to me and my family. You know, it's going to propel us into next year. We're going to have a really good off season. You know, we have a lot of hard workers in that locker room that are going to attack this off season like they did last year. We're not satisfied with what we did this year. We're going to keep getting better and attack next year with the same intensity. I would have believed you. I know the work that I've put in up to that point, and I just felt like I needed an opportunity. And I knew the kind of players that, that were here. Co Coach O sold me on a vision, and you know, I knew the work that we had put in this offseason. So we totally expected to be in this position. We were changing the offense. They're like, yeah, we've heard that before. And then they kept saying, you know, we have a pretty good quarterback. And they said, yeah, we've heard that before. And there was a lot of disrespect, I think, towards us. And we knew that everyone was going to doubt it until they saw it against Florida, Auburn, and Alabama. You know, I've been, I've been told I wasn't good enough since recruiting. I had one offer after my junior year of high school, and it was my dad's team. I wanted to go to Nebraska. They told me I wasn't good enough, and Ohio State was really my only big time offer. I remember all, my, all the recruiters' names that, that told me no. I remember all the Elite 11 guys that got chosen over me. So I remember all that stuff. I keep a mental log of it. I think it's leadership. You know, I've always been really, really good at, at bringing everybody together to, to form a common goal. My work ethic kind of permeates throughout the team. I'm excited to get around all the guys and everybody within that, within that building. I think 
think it shows not only the hard work that I put in for 10 and 15 years, but the hard work that our team has put in their whole careers. I think that's just who I am. Well, you can accept the fact that people are saying those guys are better than you, or you can just keep working. That's what I did. I knew I would be at this point. That's exactly what happened.